Alhamdulillah wassalatu wassalamu ala Rasulullah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa mawala amma ba'du fa ya ibadallah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Today inshallah we shall be discussing the Danfodius family from this book Osman Danfodio the great reformer of West Africa a book authored by Professor Umar Lato before we talk about Sheikh Uthman's wives and children, let us first mention his siblings. Uthman had 13 siblings, 10 brothers and 3 sisters. If we include Uthman in the count, there will be 14 brothers and sisters born of the same father. Uthman was the second in the house. They are according to seniority, Ali, Usman, Abu Bakr, Abdullahi, Addi, that is Saadi, Abdullahi, Usman's disciple, popularly known as Abdullahi Ngwandu, Muhammad Ali, Alfa Umar, Muhammad Yaru, Nainna, Maunuma, Yaguga, Saudatu, and Findu, that is Hindu. Of all the Shehu siblings, Abdullahi the second was most famous because of his closeness to Usman and the role he played in the jihad and tajdid movement. Usman Danfodiu married 12 wives in his lifetime and had one concubine. They are Maimuna, Gabdu, Hawau, Hajji, Hajju, that is Hadiza, Shetu, that is Aishetu, Jenni, Bajju, that is Amina, Tabaraya, Hafsatu, and Furi, that is Furira. Maria was the concubine. These were the women Usman married in his life, and they bore his children for him. We cannot say with certainty who among them died in Shehu's lifetime or was divorced by him or who survived him as his widows. The only relevant source at our disposal, Kitab and Nasab of Abdullah Danfodiu, did not specify on the issue. But as a Muslim, we know Usman must have lived with only four at a time as the maximum. Now, the Shehu's children. Allah blessed Usman Danfodiu with 41 children, 20 males, 16 females, and five died in infancy. They are mentioned here according to their mothers. Maimuna supplied Ali, Muhammad Al Sana, Muhammad Haji, Umar, Aishatu, Hafsatu, Al Hassan, Asma'u, and a set of twins who died in infancy. Gabdu supplied Muhammad Sa'ad, Muhammad Sambu, Hadiza, Muhammad Buhari, Muhammad Firabri, Aishatu, Juwairiya, and three others who died in infancy. Hawau supplied Muhammad Bello, Abu Bakr, Fatimatu, Saudatu, and Hannatu. Hajji had one daughter, Aishatu. Hajjo supplied Abdul Qadir and Fatimatu. Shatu supplied Abul Hassan, Ahmad, Rufai, and Ahmad Badawi. Jenny supplied Haliru and Safiyatu. Maria, the concubine, supplied Ibrahim the Suki, Amina, Hajara, Maryam, Ibrahim, Hadiza, and Isa, the Shehu's last born. 
Osman's last born, Isa, who was born eight months after Danfodio's death, was known as Isangpari, after the district which he ruled and which is still ruled by his progeny. He was among Danfodio's most learned children. He authored many books and composed many poems in Fulfulde and Hausa. He also collaborated with his sister, Nana Asma'u, to translate Danfodio's Fulfulde poems. Isangkware is a living testimony of the beauty of Islam. Born of a concubine and as an orphan, he had all the opportunity available to his brothers and sisters. He didn't suffer discrimination on account of his mother being a slave woman. He was not neglected because he was an orphan, nor was he subjected to any abuse by his superior siblings or his mother's overtopping co-wives. The society did not look down on him either. This should be a source of pride to us. Compare the treatment of slaves and their children in our culture and in other cultures, say European or Western, and you will see a world of difference. While slaves and their children were treated as subhumans in the United States and Europe, they enjoyed every right in Islam almost equal to that of free people. Isam Kware is a living testimony to the superiority of Islam. But we can only be proud of our culture if we live the culture. Alhamdulillah, this marks the end of chapter 1. Chapter 2, inshallah, shall be discussing the jihad of Osman Danfodio. My name is Muhammad Kabir Abdul Aziz. Thank you for being with me. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Assalamu alaikum.